characteristics and achievements. The same unity must be reflected in our policy and our common budget and also in the synergy between the European institutions and the member states. In past years, electoral processes in various parts of Europe have largely been marked by a rise in populism and Euroscepticism as a direct consequence of the challenges I've discussed. Having demonstrated that we are capable successfully of achieving solutions, we must gird ourselves for the 2019 parliamentary elections and restore the confidence of the Euro European voters. We must also work together to find answers to challenges posed by the United Kingdom's withdrawal from the European Union. As I repeatedly said in many occasions since 2013, before the referendum, I see this as a bad decision. It was a lose-lose situation for the United Kingdom and for the European Union as a whole. As a European, I respect it, but I regret it. The UK's exit is a result of populism and a campaign of disinformation which pointed to the consequences that the lack of information about the EU has on its citizens. I hope that the procedure, in accordance with the Article 50, will lead to an agreement on orderly withdrawal to ensure legal security and clarity to citizens and business communities on both sides. It is particularly important to settle the rights of citizens on the basis of equal treatment. This means that Croatian citizens also must be treated equally when it comes to their access to the UK's labour market. We must maintain unity in the process of negotiations and our future relationship should be based on our mutual interests. Ladies and gentlemen, while further building the European project, we need to ensure democratic legitimacy. The European Parliament is the strongest link between European decisions and our citizens. And this link must be strengthened. Therefore, I support the Spitzenkandidaten process which will enable citizens to recognize the face and the ideas of uh, the future president of the European Commission, as uh, was the case with uh, Mr. Jean-Claude Juncker, who was the uh, Spitzenkandidat uh, of uh, the EPP in 2014. In the debate on changing the electoral law, we must ask ourselves also considering the calendar, whether we have legally and financially set the foundations for setting up transnational lists. I welcome the proposal of the new composition of the European Parliament, which gives uh, Croatia an additional member of the European Parliament, and in strengthening the democratic legitimacy of the European Union, an important role is played by national parliaments. Therefore, after my return to Zagreb, I have introduced in the Croatian Parliament uh, the practice of uh, debating uh, the European Union issues after every council meeting, and this gives me the opportunity to acquaint the citizens with uh, the hottest European topics and uh, also to strengthen their confidence in the EU. In our further work, I believe that uh, we must uh, strengthen the application of uh, the uh, subsidiarity and the proportionality principles and uh, also make closer our decision making to citizens. So I welcome the uh, setting up of the work group in that respect. A few words about the enlargement policy. Croatia is uh, testifying the transformative power that uh, is brought about by membership in the EU. And uh, the European Union is uh, also a project which uh, 
brings about confidence and uh, this transformative power must be tapped into to make ourselves stronger and more resilient. The European Union is still a community that uh, many would like to join, whereby I mean the uh, six countries in uh, Southeastern Europe, our closest neighbours, and Turkey, but not only them, also countries uh, from the wider neighbourhood. Uh, I, for example, am aware of such tendencies in the Ukraine, and uh, I was a close friend to the Ukraine where, when I worked together with you. So we need to hold to our promises to candidates and potential candidates, and uh, also these countries must carry out the necessary reforms. And also we need to take into account and valorize the individual achievements of these countries. It's freut mich, dass die Europäische Kommission gerade... I'm I'm, I'm very happy about the uh, expansion strategy, the enlargement strategy for the Western Balkans. Within the framework of this strategy, first of all, in Bosnia-Herzegovina, extreme importance has been placed. The same, uh, of course, uh, Croatia has a very important role to play as far as what has been done in the past there. It is a country with a very specific uh, structure made up of three constituent peoples, Croats, Bosniaks, and Serbs, uh, uh, with equal, uh, equal on all fronts. This is, would be absolutely necessary for Bosnia and Herzegovina to be successful in the future. So I think it's important. Uh, I think indeed that uh, if the principles of the European Union are adopted, that the future of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina, will be a secure one indeed and a proper one. So I think it's important to take into consideration this, that is to say, an equal system, electoral system, that would give equal opportunity to all within that particular country. So in southeastern Europe, of course, we call f we have to confront major challenges, security challenges. And that's why the strategic interests of all European Union member states have to take into consideration uh, uh, the ex a creation of a space of peace and stability that will serve uh, democracy and rule of law for all in the region and further afield. This is absolutely necessary to protect European citizens so that they can take advantages of the wonderful opportunities before them. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the numerous challenges and threats requires from us to be more assertive and stronger in global relations. The dedication to international rule of law, democracy, international order, and human rights is uh, a key investment in strengthening the European Union as a global actor and a promoter of uh, multilateralism. To achieve our global ambitions, we need uh, a more strong foreign and security policy, and also what is important, our international aid and uh, our international action through the UN system. We have the resources and also, I believe, the political will to achieve that. Terrorist, terrorist attacks uh, on European soil, but also elsewhere, show how vulnerable Europe is and uh, that uh, we need to take care of our security and safety within and without our borders. This will be achieved by strengthening our defense capabilities and on str by strengthening cooperation in the defense area. So I welcome uh, the establishment of uh, PESCO, and Croatia will participate in that. We need also to strengthen coordination with NATO, which is key, mm -hmm. and we need also to secure compatibility, synergy, and effectiveness of uh, our common actions. The uh, protection of uh, the EU's external borders is one of our most important tasks. And the uh, de decisions in that respect at European uh, level must uh, secure equal treatment uh, for all citizens and member states. Uh, the full control at uh, the European Union external borders, when only one is uh, in the Schengen area, for example, 
between Croatia and Hungary and Croatia and Slovenia, respectively, has shown that uh, this may throw up some problems uh, in uh, the European internal security. But uh, by establishing partnerships among these three countries, uh, these problems have been solved. Croatia is already contributing to securing our external borders and, and our next European goal is to access the Schengen area and uh, we're also supporting that our friends from Bulgaria and Romania. Our ambition is uh, to fulfill the Schengen criteria as soon as possible and uh, to join Schengen and uh, I count on your support in the European Parliament to achieve that. These issues must not uh, be connected with uh, other non-related issues or questions. A specific challenge is uh, the migration process, which uh, entails both a humanitarian and a security dimension. We need to further be careful and to invest in our capacities uh, to face this challenge and uh, also to help the uh, origin countries. In that respect, we need to complete the reform of the European asylum system. Solidarity, in my opinion, must be one of the foundations of our joint action. In this spirit, I would like to recall that 25 years ago, we also had many migrants and displaced uh, people and refugees, and uh, this is how we want uh, to enact the uh, migration policy. Um, in 2004, Croatia accounted to one third of uh, oh, G world GDP, and now it amounts to barely one fourth. Uh, we need to promote the prosperity and we need to strengthen our relations with key strategic partners and uh, further deepen the uh, transatlantic relations. One uh, of our key achievements is uh, the internal market, which is key to the European project and uh, also for our economy. After uh, the setback due to the crisis, we are now experiencing economic growth. Two weeks ago in Davos, we saw that uh, the world, uh, the European, and also the Croatian economy are growing, and we need to preserve that trend. The measures drawing from the internal market strategy are our common responsibility, and on the internal market, we must uh, stop the uh, discrimination in terms of uh, food quality and quality of other products, because we cannot uh, have within our union two categories of consumers. In addition to deepening the internal market in all aspects, the internal market must be adjusted to modern challenges, especially to the challenges of the digital age. For this reason, we must complete the construction of a functional digital market to create new jobs and uh, increase our competitiveness and uh, competitivity. Now, uh, we Yes, Croatia, we are contributing <coughs> to the development of uh, digital services. For example, the e-prescription in the health service, which has been recognized by other countries, and also the service e-baby, which uh, has enabled uh, the Croatian citizens to report about newborns on the internet, online. In 1960, one in seven uh, inhabitants of the world were, uh, lived in the European Union. Now th that number is one in 15. According to the Eurostat in 2060, this uh, number will be one in 20. This is evidence of uh, the worsening demographic picture in Europe, uh, which uh, affects negatively our citizens and uh, labor policy as well. Uh, one of our achievements is our social model, which must be improved by uh, also pre preserving the social dialogue and social cohesion. We need now to implement the European pillar of social rights as a basis for a fair uh, labor market. And uh, we need also to care for our pensioners. We need to build uh, the European Energy Union and uh, guarantee 
to citizens' access to available and affordable energy. We need to, to develop uh, strategic energy projects which uh, aim to diversify and secure supply. I would like to recall the uh, project of the LNG terminal on the island of Kirk, which is a strategic project of our government and uh, enjoys the financial support of the European Union and displaces Croatia on the energy map of Europe. We are also ready to undertake all commitments from the uh, Paris Agreement and uh, we will build on uh, our tradition of a country which in 1995 had uh, the uh, first uh, hydropower plant in uh, uh, Europe and uh, we are committed also to the development of uh, renewable energy sources and uh, the share of uh, the Renewable, uh, renewable energy sources in our energy mix uh, now amounts to 25%, which achieves the goal for 2030. Uh, when it comes to transport, uh, let uh, me just uh, single out one project, uh, the most visible one, which is uh, financed by the European Union, and that is the project of the Peleshatz Bridge, which will connect Dubrovnik with the rest of Croatia and European Union. Dear friends, all our goals, our policies and ambitions, everything we do requires uh, financial means, funds. In uh, the annual financial framework, we will have to decide which union we want. In my opinion, this must be a union that uh, provides for the growth and development of all its member states and uh, also gives a perspective to young people. This is the union which uh, promotes fair and uh, balanced development of all member states, uh, social and territorial cohesion of uh, all regions, a union which uh, provides safety to citizens, it protects its external borders and is able to adequately face all security challenges, a union which uh, promotes culture, creativity and uh, also is uh, adaptable to new challenges of the digital age, a union which is financially sustainable and is able to protect its citizens from future financial crises uh, based on the principle of solidarity. Finally, this is a union which is a key political actor in uh, the global politics and uh, also promotes uh, free trade. Uh, it is a leader in uh, protecting the environment and in fighting climate change. In the next multi-annual financial framework, the basic principle of funding must be European added value. So, the existing own resources system, which is uh, good and which reflects the uh, principles of, of uh, simplicity and fairness, must be preserved. And in introducing new own resources, we need to avoid uh, further fiscally burdening the citizens. Although uh, Croatia is still not a member of the euro area, it uh, wishes to contribute to the further development of the EMU. In uh, July 2017, uh, we uh, ended the procedure of excessive de deficit, and we are still currently uh, carrying out national reforms uh, with the objective of uh, removing macroeconomic disbalances. Approaching the uh, Europe zone uh, is a key objective of Croatia and uh, the Croatian National Bank and the government uh, have uh, presented our strat strategy in that respect and it's now subject to public debate. Croatia is currently fulfilling all requirements to join the euro and now we are next going to join uh, the ESB2 as soon as possible and also uh, the Croatian Parliament has uh, ratified uh, the uh, Treaty on uh, Management of the European Monetary Union and uh, uh, have uh, attended the Euro Summit as uh, the first representative of Croatia. In conclusion, I would like to point out that our dialogue on the future of the European Union is as important as the outcome of this process. We saw the reflection documents produced by the Commission we listen to our citizens, we talk to each other at the levels of parliaments and governments. Many ideas are being discussed and different scenarios are being considered. Our path to the future should be a way forward and not backward. Croatia joined the European Union 
to be an active and responsible member, to, wo to work with other partners to further build and develop the European project. Croatia, which longed so much to again be part of Europe, today wants to be a part of its inner circle. That's why I underline Schengen and the Eurozone. This is the reason behind our decision to participate in PESCO, and that is the reason why our next goals are exactly, as I said, Schengen and Euro. I wholeheartedly work on achieving these goals every day, together with the colleagues of my government, convinced that this is in the best interest of the Croatian citizens. In further building our future, equality is important to all of us. Equality of states, citizens and opportunities. For the credibility of the European project and our reputation in the world, it is vital that we act as a family, brought together by mutual trust. It is very important that member states that have different bilateral issues approach them in good faith and constructively. Compromise is the building block on which the European Union was constructed. Inclusiveness is also important for Croatia. No matter how fast or further we advance in these integration processes, each process should be open to all members on equal terms. Our achievements are our strongest tools in building our common future. They need to unite us because we can move forward only if we stand together. Strong Europe primarily also means strong member states, but at the same time, pulling of sovereignty at the level of the EU makes our country stronger for their benefit as well as for the benefit of our fellow citizens across our members. We also want strong European institutions that, based on their treaty powers, work for the benefit of every citizen of the Union. In that respect, Croatia is looking forward for its presidency of the Council in two years' time, in the first half of 2020, as an opportunity to further build and promote the European project. Our priorities will be growth, development, connectivity, security and enlargement. I look forward to working with Romania and Finland with the TRIO and intensive cooperation with the European Parliament. Croatia will be taking over the presidency after the formation of new institutions and our task will be to bring forward new ideas in the period which is ahead of us in the beginning of the next decade. With its values and freedoms, quality and the way of life, and the highly competitive social market economy, Europe needs to reassert itself as a role model that will inspire people across the world to build a better future. Dear friends, it is up on us all to deliver. Thank you. Grazie.